Also tonight, during his nearly eight years in office to date, President Obama's willingness to use his pen and his phone has resulted in thousands of regulations, costing hundreds of millions of dollars. One of President-elect Donald, Donald Trump's major campaign promises was to undo many of those just as soon as he took office. So which of these policies could soon find themselves on the chopping block? Shannon Bream has more from Washington. Shannon? He promised to use his pen and phone to go around Congress more than two years ago. And President Obama has done plenty to make good on that pledge ever since. President-elect Donald Trump says on day one, he'll start tossing out scores of executive orders and rolling back what he says has been an abusive overreach. The Supreme Court, in fact, unanimously struck down the president's decision to stack the National Labor Relations Board, saying he exceeded his constitutional boundaries. Another one of the areas in which the administration has exerted substantial control is through Title IX, which bans sex discrimination in education, and that can be defined to include sex assaults. If a school doesn't comply as the administration sees fit, it risks losing millions in federal funding and can even be ordered to pay out damages. That's been a real issue for young men who say they've been falsely accused and face severe disciplinary action, even expulsion, without due process. Much of the trouble apparently stems back to a 2011 letter of guidance from the Department of Education, which actually counseled some schools to lower the standard of proof they should accept before meeting out punishment. Experts call items like those letters dark regulatory matter, which provide for severe penalties without ever going through Congress, and predict the Trump administration will tackle it head on. The Obama legacy depended on a Hillary Clinton victory, and he didn't get that. So a lot of the things that Obama did are going away. Obamacare is going away. The Keystone Pipeline is coming back in. You can practically put together a New Year's list of these things. There will be plenty to wade through, given that the Obama administration has set numerous yearly records for the amount of rules and regulations added to the Federal Register. Megan? Shannon Bream, thank you.